Hey, what's going on DDO players? Axel here. Today I want to talk about burnout in DDO, some things that I've done in the past to manage it and some things that I'm still doing currently to help avoid it. Let me say first of all, there's nothing inherently wrong about being burnt out in DDO. It's only natural. It's going to happen to everybody from time to time. And honestly, a lot of us, myself included, have gone through stretches where we play this game more than it's probably healthy. So there's nothing wrong with wanting to mix up what you're doing and go outside every once in a while. I know as crazy as that sounds, uh, maybe play a different game every once in a while. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. But if you bring the burnout on yourself, that's really what the issue is here. And that's what I want to talk about in this video because I see a lot of this in game people give themselves maybe lofty goals where they try to do more than they should be doing in DDO and they take it too seriously and they end up getting burned out and they quit. Now, first of all, every once in a while, you're going to want to take a break from the game. It happens to everybody. And as I've said, it's only natural to want to do this. I've taken several breaks from the game. I've gone on stretches where I haven't played the game for a few months, but I've always come back and played and play the game again. So it's only natural if you've been playing this game for maybe a year or two that you might want to take a month off. And when you come back, DDL will feel all that more fresh and new to you. Sometimes you need the break. It's unavoidable. Natural burnout is something that everyone faces from time to time. But let's go on and talk about some specific reasons I feel people bring burnout on themselves in the game. The first big one is reincarnation. I see a lot of people burning themselves out through reincarnation. And it's something that can really burn you out as a player if you aren't careful. I've experienced this personally. I've seen it a lot. Sometimes running the same build over and over specifically can get very repetitive, especially if you're saying, playing it in the same way. And I'm someone that tends to do that. I tend to stick pretty close to the build I like. but. That's another reason why I honestly don't reincarnate too much. But if you're a player that's going for all kinds of past lives, um, sometimes tweaking your build a little bit is necessary. Just not even if it's not optimal, you don't want to always think in terms of what's optimal and what's best as far as, far as optimization. You also want to think of what is optimal in terms of keeping you interested in the game because it doesn't matter if you're running an optimal build if you don't play the if you don't play the game. If you're not playing the game and you're not improving that build, then it it actually is not the most optimal build because it's not one you're actually playing. So even if you're running a uh, maybe like uh, I don't know a, uh, a single weapon fighting favored soul, even though that's not quote unquote an optimal build, if you tr into like a a, a in max build like a uh, like a paladin or something and you don't like playing it and you end up not playing it then that in effect will not be an optimal build for you since you aren't even playing the game so ddo has a lot of replay value but if you're using the same class and race combination you aren't getting all out of that replay value one thing i see a lot in terms of reincarnation is um something that people do to help them stay interested is if you're running multiple past lives maybe go to weapon fighting instead of single weapon fighting you can make small tweaks in your build without making a major change or without lowering your dps significantly say if you're on a sorcerer you can instead of doing what everybody tends to do from my experience anyways at low and mid levels which is just going fire spec and firewalling and fireballing everything just go acid spec. Um, you can use, there's a lot of great acid spells. I mean, you can go with a different, just even water or something, even though it's may not be a min max thing. I think in today's game, the lower level quests are easy enough that you don't really need to min max. And if mixing up your build and taking away some optimization is what keeps you interested and keeps you going, then that's a good thing. And of course you can take this to the next level by completely changing your class, but I don't think you need to go that far necessarily. Uh, sometimes you can do this, but you run a risk if you play in a class you haven't played before in that if you TR into it, you might find after a few levels that you hate it and you don't like playing it. And the result of that will either be you one grinding, grinding it out and not having a good time while you're doing it or two, 
having to spend money on hearts in the store to change yourself back to a class you do enjoy. So in neither one of those is good, obviously. Another thing you can do if you're on the reincarnation grind, mix things up every once in a while and just stay at cap for a bit. Even though DDO's endgame is not in a good state right now, there's still stuff you can do at cap. First of all, if you're at cap, you can actually take time to enjoy your character at, at his or her maximum potential. It's not until level 28 that you actually get to wear all that cool top level gear. So just stay there and enjoy it for a while. There's a, There are still some stuff to do at cap. Not near enough, but there's stuff to do at cap. If there's gear you want, you can farm it out with by running raids or by running regular quests. If you're at level 28, it's a lot easier to farm that out because your character is more powerful because you have more feats, more gear. So if there's gear you want, you can f stay at cap for a while to mix things up from your reincarnation grind. Just grind out gear for a while. And if you've gotten all the gear you want, you can still stay at cap and collect heart seeds. This is something I've been I did really last month. Uh, I was at level 28 I just didn't feel like epic TRing yet so I just stayed at level 28 and collected heart seeds and if you do collect heart seeds uh, you can collect enough for two or three hearts this means that in the future you can go straight from 28 to 20 uh, you can go straight to 20 again right after you hit 28 you don't have to stay there and collect your heart seeds to turn in for that that uh, for that heart because you had already done that another thing you can do is favor if you need favor go for that if you've started, especially on an iconic tune, you're going to have a lot of um, quests from levels like 1 to 14 or 15 that you've never run. So there's going to be a lot of favor you can go after. And the favor rewards are still pretty good, especially when it comes to the favor rewards that unlock classes. Those are definitely ones you want to go for, and they're definitely worth spending your time going for at level 28. And again, if you're at level 28, you're going to have an easier time going through these favor runs because your tune will be all that more powerful. Another cool thing that you can do at CAP is you can run events. Events come around every few months, and often if you're at level 28, it's easier to get that gear than if you're at a, a like level 20 or a lower heroic level. We, in particular, we have the Halloween new Halloween event called the Night Revels coming up here in a couple weeks. So if you're at level 28, you might want to stick stay there for a while to to run that event. Also, if you want to play on the preview server, Lamania, you might want to stay at level 28 for that. Um, if you ever want to uh, use the character copy tool, it's just a lot easier if you have a if you have a capped character to just go ahead and copy on there over there rather than to copy, say, like a level 20 character over there and then level it back up and get all your gear back. It's it's a little bit easier from my experience just to keep it at cap and copy over there. So. If there's things like that you want to do, you can do that and put off your reincarnation for now. So a couple of things I see often in game that lead to burnout, as I mentioned before, the number one thing I see is people having too big or too lofty of goals. I see a lot of people enjoy not looking not enjoying the moment when they're playing they're looking down the road constantly and constantly they're like hey i can't wait till i grind out these 10 past lives to get you know to get x increase in power just try to enjoy actually going through the grind because i'll be honest with you right now there's not a whole lot to do once you reach once you complete your goal and you have all those past lives so just enjoy the process of going through it and if you're not enjoying the grind then just slow down and get to a point to where you do enjoy it don't be so f focused on actually completing your goals just be more focused on playing in the moment you want to have goal go long outstanding goals but just don't be overly concerned about reaching them in a reasonable time frame just have them out there as a goal something that keeps you playing but not something you're necessarily concerned about when you reach it. I've I've heard about people on the forums and I've read forum posts about people planning out these crazy TR train schedules where they want to get like 20 or 30 past lives done in some ridiculously short amount of time. And I can guarantee you that a lot of these players or most of them, probably 99% of them end up going through a few lives, getting burnt out and quitting. So. If you just lower your goals and just focus on enjoying the moment, you're not going to be near as prone to getting burned out. And 
if you set your goals too high and too lofty, you might just end up quitting because you get frustrated. So speaking of multiple past lives, let's talk a little bit about heroic completionists because I see this as still today as something people aspire to. And my advice is to not worry about it. Unless you're on a DC based caster, heroic completionist is not that good. All it is is a plus two increase to each stat and it, it takes up a feat slot. So if it didn't take up a feat slot, it would be a lot better, but because it takes up a feat slot, it's not even that good. I part personally wouldn't even take it on my build unless it was a, a DC based build. So really the only people that it's uh, the only classes it's good for is DC casters. And I don't think it's even that essential to do all those past lives just to get one DC. I mean, if you want to go after heroic completionists, that's fine. Just don't be so focused on it. Don't just don't be in a rush to get there because it's really not a big deal. Even if you're a DC caster, it's just not, it's not that important, especially nowadays as we're keep progressing in levels. We keep seeing, we're going to have a level cap increase. I believe by the end of this year to level 30, we we're still going to have, uh, we're going to continue to have more power into gear. So as we as we get more power in our gear and in our characters themselves, the, this, this feat that gives you plus two to all stats becomes less and less good as a result. So this is a feat that is not really that important and it's only going to continue to get less and less important as we go on and uh, power creep continues to climb. Let's talk about some other things you can do in game. You can join a new guild. If you find that your guild is dead, Go to the forums, ddo.com forums, and go to your server's page. There's all kinds of guilds, really on every server, that are constantly asking um, or trying to recruit people. So if you're in a guild that's dead or you're not in a guild, just go to the forums, find a guild, meet some people. That can really help you have some more fun in the game because a large portion of this game is the social aspect. And if you're not... If you're not even taking advantage of the social aspect at all, you're going to, uh, you're just not going to have, you're not experiencing DDO at its fullest. Another thing you can do is you can join a static group. Also, you can find these on the, uh, you can find advertisements for these on the forums. Go to the forums and there's often people that say, hey, we want to get a group of six people to run it. 7 p.m. on Wednesdays or whatever time and you can meet those people it's a good way to meet people uh, have friends and kind of have a set schedule as to when you're playing the game another thing you can do is you can join a permadeath guild permadeath is something I've seen a lot of play I haven't done it personally I'm not it's not something I'm interested in but I've seen a lot of players get a lot a lot of enjoyment out of playing permadeath especially players that feel burnt out because the game's not as hard as it's been in the past Permadeath can add that extra little bit of, um, I don't know if, I don't think permadeath adds any challenge, but it does make it less, it does make you, uh, force you to be more careful when you're playing. And that's something that a lot of people have gotten a thrill out of. So you can also go to the forums and find permadeath guild that way. Some other things you can do, um, out, you can do a lot of stuff outside the game. And this is what I've done to avoid burnout is my YouTube channel. I've given myself a project outside the game to help me stay interested in the game. So if you don't want to create a YouTube channel like me, other things you can do. You can create a blog. There's all kinds of blogging sites. If you go to the fan site section of DDO.com, you can see a big list of them. Uh, you can also see them all the time on the DDO.com Chronicles. There's also other, there's other sites like, I know DDO Gamer, they actually, if you get in contact with the guy who runs that, I know in the past he's giving people a spot to uh, have a blog on his site. So if you don't want to create your own site, you can probably get in contact with people like that and get a blog on someone else's site. Of course, you can make a YouTube channel like me, which I would like to, I've seen a few more pop up over the past year and I'm hope that hope that more and more continue to pop up. You can also create a podcast. We have several of those like uh, DDO cast, um, DDO players news, Damsels of DDO, I think DDO cocktail hour. Those are the ones I know of. I think there, there might be a few more. Another thing you can do, Twitch, start a Twitch stream. That's something I just did this past week. Twitch is always something that's fun. And even if you're a little shy and you don't want to have a webcam on, 
you can still just twitch the gameplay and have a mic on. People still like watching that. At least some people do. Another thing you can do, you can create fan fiction or fan art. I don't know when it was, but someone actually, there's actually a few DDO novels that are out that have been written. There's all kinds of DDO short stories. Um, there's a lot of DDO um, like actual art. I've seen paintings. Uh, I've seen people create uh, I think someone has created like stuffed mo like stuffed versions of DDO monsters. So there's a lot of cool fan art stuff you can do. And last but not least, you can talk to the community by uh, getting on the forums at DDO.com and getting involved in some of the discussions there. Uh, you got to have a bit of tough skin to be on the forums because you will be criticized for everything you write. But if you can overlook that, you can really have some fun discussions on the forums. So guys, that's about all I have to say about this topic. Um, why don't you uh, comment below, let me know about if you faced burnout in the past, what you've done to avoid burnout, some of the things that you've done to keep yourself going if you're someone like me who's played the game for many years. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, throw me a like and subscribe. And you can also check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash axel311. That's it for today, see you all next time.